Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Caveman Tabletop Broiler. And uh, what this guy is, is um, I don't know if you've had uh, steaks at Rupert's Steakhouse or any of these fancy steakhouses. This is a how they do it. It's a high heat um, broiler. That's where the, the heat comes from the top. The one good thing about this guy is that you really don't, uh, when I pull it out, we kind of notice that you really don't have to put the dang, the dang thing together. It's already already together um, no uh, major uh, pieces that you need to do as you can see there's uh, the oil drip pan uh, the, uh, the piece that, would, that you would put the steak on and the handle to take it in and out um, really kind of need a tabletop but I'm using the uh, the bed of my, uh, my pickup truck so I can get me a tabletop for it um, and you need a I, we, I just went out and got a brand new um, uh, propane tank and what I did was I bought me a whole ribeye uh, steak and cut it up you know nice good pieces seasoned it out really good and, and literally you can see that, that that's the grease trap that's the shelving that you put the steak on right there I kind of do it in backwards. No, nope, that's not it. But then you got the other piece right there, and that's how you that's how you lift it up and up and down. Okay, and you're gonna see in the back, it's, it takes a double A battery on the bottom to screw it in. Um, that's how you uh, ignite it and start it up. It's got like a little electrical starter, and um, and the top of it it has like a ceramic that I guess the flame is, is heated up to this little ceramic plate that uh, starts the heating process. I did was I went inside and um, uh, you know melted me some butter uh, to let it separate to get the oil on the top and I'm going to use that and the seasonings that I got it's like a coarse steak seasoning and uh, what's so funny about this is you look at one of my other um, videos I found this two of them in Illinois and um, that one for me and one buddy of mine because uh, I know he, he likes to grill and likes to cook you know, meat and stuff like that this, is man, this thing is mainly for steaks to be honest with you uh, I don't think you need to cook anything else in it but um, as you can see, you got the gas grill hooked up to it. And to the left, got it covered up. But I got some um, ribeye steaks, the end pieces. So if I <laughs> intent unintentionally screwed it up, those uh, they were end pieces of uh, my uh, steaks. But man. This sucker, you know, as you can see. Uh, see, I'm trying to figure out how to start it up, and, and I, I had to go check the instructions, but I 
had the battery in there backwards. <laughs> that was the funny part. Had the battery in there backwards. I'm trying to figure out how to you know, get it started, but what you do is, in the off position, you push it down and slowly turn it to the, uh, turn it to the left. And what that does is it ignites it and it slowly starts to, to turn on. And what you can see right there, it doesn't seem like it's on, but it's on. And that heat is hot as heck already. And uh, I'm going to show you, it goes up to, it's supposed to be like 1500 BTUs. So that thing is really hot. So we are giving it a few minutes to start heating up. And get to that point. Right, so I'm going to show you, if you look right up there, 1500 BTUs, caveman. This little thing only cost me about 160 bucks. I bought it at Menards up in Illinois. Um, I don't know if you can get it online, but just look for it. It's called Caveman. This, this is a manly, manly man's uh, piece of equipment. And I'm telling you, if you can feel that heat, it's, it's heating up. Make sure it's getting nice, nice and hot. And we're going to start um, cooking our steaks in just a few minutes. And you see me walk out of the screen, I'm running back and forth into the kitchen to get stuff, I had to get a uh, fork so we can move it around and flip it over and stuff like that, so like I said, if we start with something small, get that baby in there, if you notice I went to the lowest spot, there's actually one that's a lower than that, if you can put it. So I'm getting in there looking I'm gonna hear if it's sizzling or not. And then I'm getting a little uh daring and move it up to the top spot. And if you watch, yeah, we gonna, if you look, look to the top, see how the smoke's coming out. That baby, she's 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 really starting to sizzle. Now I ain't go nowhere near the food, but I started lighting up some of these daggone flies in the back. No, that's not um, health-wise, but it was nowhere near my food. That's the only thing about this. Like I said, it's a high heat. I don't want to walk away from it. <laughs> but, and I, I'm sitting there telling you, you don't want to walk away from it. Guess what I do? I walk away from it. <laughs> Walking in the house. Walked in the house was I get I wanted to get my um, my clarified butter. And what the clarified butter is, what you just, is you take that butter, cook it on low heat, let the butter separate and the top oil. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be pouring that top oil on top of that steak, and let it sizzle even more. That's how they do it with that roof crisp. Uh, steakhouse in these fancy places they put that the clarified butter on that steak what I'm probably going to do is um, go. Um, if you notice like I said I had it cooking I put it to the bottom for a few minutes and boy it's looking good and it's, like usual I keep on walking out of the, you notice I walked out of the screen back in the house and make sure I get all my stuff that I'm going to need. Should have did that before I started this, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. We're uh, testing it out. But, as you can see, it's really not burning, but it's cooking at a steady, nice pace on that lower, um, uh, that lower deck look at it um it's not even a long period of time like on this video it's only nine minutes and 40 50 seconds that passed and that, and that 
baby's cooking. It's cooking really nice. Now I'm back. I had to get the fork so I could flip it, you know, flip it over. I need I should have got a spatula, but eh. hey, it is what it is. sucker would be dry, but nope, it was so freaking juicy, OMG, so juicy, just a little bit of pink, my wife don't like the, the, you know, no pink in it, so I had to put it back in there for a few more minutes, so it would be okay for her to taste, but like I said, oh my gosh, I'm going to wear this sucker the freaking heck out. This was worth the walking about a mile, two miles down the road with this over my shoulder, two of them. <laughs> you notice, look, I had to give me another piece of that. Look at that, look at that. Juicy. Freaking juicy. I give this a 10 out of 10. Caveman is off the chain. I'm going to wear this poor puppy out. If you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching my video.